Hey gang, Matilda Gothica is having a contest, an OMG Freedom contest to honor OMG Chris and his sidekick Freedom. She wants to know, what are you passionate about in terms of comics? Well, I'm passionate about any comic I'm holding in my hands, which sounds like a complete cop-out, but I swear it's true. Take this random comic for an example, Secret Origins 27, with the origin of Zatanna and Zatara. Just leafing through it excites my passions. First of all, the inks are by P. Craig Russell, who you normally wouldn't see inking a random book like this. The pencils are by some journeyman 80s artist, but it's the combination and clash between the two artists that creates a bunch of interesting effects. The story's not great, it barely even covers Zatanna, but they do finally make it absolutely clear that yes, Zatanna and John Constantine did pork, and a while ago, after the comic showed a chronological listing of Silver Surfer appearances. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna grab my copy of The Coming of Galactus, which reprints the Galactus trilogy. And within a few hours of that, Sleepy Reader 666 and Wednesday's Serial covered the Galactus trilogy on their Not Dead Yet podcast. And I was able to sit and enjoy them talk about a book I was just passionate about. And I expect a big, fat, well-packed no prize from them, because they offer no prizes if you mention their podcast. I'll probably end up getting the digital version. And she wants to know which two characters we think should team up. I choose She-Hulk and Thunder. Partly because I think it would be funny to see She-Hulk look stubby next to Thunder. She-Hulk 6-7 and Thunder 7-2. And who knows, maybe at some point in the story they could try on panties or something. I don't know. Also, I won third prize and he's got Freaking Issues latest contest. I want to thank him for the books, but I also want to thank him for the extra entry. I got an extra entry entry for being the first to enter. I got a ticket for one free pressing and this lovely, curly, Lady Death Spawn homage signed by Merritt Michaels. There's also a Batman and Robin poster, but I, I don't know where it went. And he gave me more variants for my variant pile, plus some Neo keys that have plenty of potential. Come on, TV and movie announcements, make these e-bayable babies bounce. Plus books that are just great to have, like Space 342434, 34, also known as the greatest comic book ever made. And I won the prize from Comics with Bueller's latest contest. It included a couple of Marvel Now Now number ones, some great keys to hold on to, and more goodies that I'm unlikely to find. And finally, New Mutants 98, the one book I needed to finish off my Rob Liefeld run of New Mutants. It's obviously the first Deadpool, the first phony Balone Domino, also the first Gideon, who never really caught on. Maybe it was the duo tone dream coat and flowing top knot. So thank you to Matilda Gothica. Thank you for this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video, and I'll have OMG Chris's link in the description because he's been generous enough to offer additional prizes to the winner of this contest. And I'll have links for He's Got Freaking Issues and Comics with Bueller in the description. Just from YouTube prizes, I'm almost up to a short box of variants. And by that, I mean covers that say variant edition, not like newsstand variants or Whitman variants or any of those boring variants. I've got those coming out of my ass.